2018 Jaguar E-Pace. The Jaguar E-Pace is the British car maker's second SUV, joining the hugely successful F-Pace. This is the large SUV that, in just one year of production, has already been crowned the 2017 World Car of the Year and become Jaguar's best-selling model. The desire for Jaguar to create another smaller, more affordable SUV therefore seems to be as illogical as it is exciting. Sadly, E-Pace doesn't mean electric, that's reserved for the forthcoming I-Pace SUV, it just means smaller than F-Pace. Instead, this baby SUV will be available with four-cylinder gasoline and diesel engines as well as the choice of front or all-wheel drive. Although only the entry-level 148 horsepower diesel can be ordered with front-wheel drive outside of the United States. Given that popularity and consumer confidence around the D word is dropping, the diesel engine won't even be offered in the U.S. We've focused here on testing the petrol-powered E-Pace P300R Dynamic HSE with 296 horsepower, all-wheel drive, and a 9-speed automatic transmission. Jaguar describes it as being as close to building a hot hatch as the company will ever get. The E-Pace is based on the same platform as the Land Rover Range Rover Evoque but it features substantial revisions that help give it a stronger road bias, plus further updates that will be filtered into the second-generation Evoque. Jaguar hasn't been afraid to inject a bit of playfulness into its baby SUV, either. Not only can you specify an optional wristband called the Activity Key to open your car, visible in the lower windscreen and illuminated in the puddle lights is a scene that could have been drafted straight from the Jungle Book, a Jaguar in stealth mode, being followed by its younger cub, 